Anthony Joshua destroys Gary Cornish in one round. A lot of people felt it might go early because they haven't been impressed with what they've seen of Gary Cornish on YouTube and whatnot. And it did go early. Cornish came with some type of ambition. He did throw some punches. He was sticking and moving, trying to use his legs. But this is a guy who had very few amateur fights and he's actually a part-time boxer. He works a day job as well as his boxing, professional boxing career. So he simply didn't have the technical refinement to be able to hang in there with Anthony Joshua. Whenever he started throwing shots, Joshua was able to slip or parry or block them relatively easily and strike back with good quality, hard, solid counter punches and hurt Gary Cornish very early, dropped him twice, finished him off. So yeah, it was an easy victory for Joshua, but he did look impressive, even though the opposition maybe wasn't that good, even though Gary Cornish has got a good record, probably wasn't that good a fighter, but you can only beat what's in front of you in for what was in front of Anthony Joshua. He looked very impressive. He was fast. His technique seemed to be on point. He's powerful. He's a tremendous physical specimen, the guy. It's like he's carved out of granite or something. <laughs> and he actually kind of had a, a Mike Tyson trim tonight. And I know he's a big, big fan of Mike Tyson. He's obviously a hell of a lot bigger than Tyson, but you can see even the, his body is trying to sculpt it the way Tyson's was which is kind of interesting. A guy that size having the kind of uh, physique of Tyson is interesting. I felt a few fights ago and even in his last fight that maybe he's a bit too big. He's added a bit too much muscle and maybe he has. That remains to be seen. We have to see him taken into the late rounds and see how the lactic acid builds up in those muscles and how he copes with that. But certainly against Gary Cornish, it was never a factor. He was fast, he was sharp and he was just many, many levels above Gary Cornish from a technical point of view and handled him very easily. It was interesting seeing Dylan White's reaction after the fight. The camera was on Dylan White's face immediately after what a Joshua dispatched of Gary Cornish. And to me, Dylan White looked concerned. His face had the look of concern on it. And he really understands that this Joshua guy is a totally different animal to the guy that he beat in the amateurs. Hopefully that motivates Dylan White and he goes away and trains as hard as possible and works on strategy because Dylan White and his trainer have to know that there is no way they're ever going to match Anthony Joshua for athleticism. There's no way they're going to match him for hand speed. So they have to work on their strengths and they have to prepare for the early onslaught that's going to inevitably going to come from Joshua. And as I said in my previous video, they're going to have to work on that jab, keeping a tight defense and maybe using spoiling tactics up close against Joshua, pushing him back because in most of Joshua's fights, we see him going forward. We haven't yet seen how he copes with a fighter that's putting pressure on him and forcing him back. So I think that that's what Dylan White needs to aim to do. Just work on a tight defense, have his sparring partners throw the kitchen sink at him in the early rounds and just deal with blocking and parrying the shots and countering with a jab. But to be honest with you, seeing how sharp Joshua is, it don't look good for Dylan White based on White's performance tonight. <laughs> it really don't because Joshua's very, very sharp for a big man. He's very quick puts his punches together very well, great accuracy, great technique, he's a good counter puncher, you wouldn't want to be a heavyweight prospect going up against Anthony Joshua right now, I tell you that, <laughs> you really wouldn't, and Dylan White's got a mountain to climb and he's got a very, very tough, tough task on his hands, I just hope he can put up a good fight, even if he don't win, against Joshua. I just hope he can put up a good fight. And if you see the guys that Dylan White has actually been in the ring with and sparring and trading heavy level with, because he ain't been holding back from what I've been told and what I've heard. He ain't been holding back in sparring. He's been going hell for leather over the years with guys like Vitaly Klitschko, Vladimir Klitschko, David Hay, David Price, Tyson Fury, and so on and so forth. Derek Chisora. He's been going hell for leather with these guys and 
he was never dropped or knocked out by Vladimir Klitschko. And Vladimir Klitschko knocks out a lot of people in sparring. And he really goes for it. So maybe he's got the toughness to hang in there with Joshua and take him a few rounds, maybe give him a tough fight. And if he comes up with the right game plan, maybe give himself an opportunity to win it. But as I say, based on the performances tonight, Joshua has to be the hot favorite. And I'm sure most of you are going to be picking Joshua to win the fight. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let's start seeing your predictions for Anthony Joshua versus Dylan White. How do you see the fight going? How long do you see it going? Do you think it's even going to be competitive? I'm sure a lot of people don't. In fact, I know a lot of people don't. A lot of people think this is just going to be an absolute walkover for Joshua. He's just going to blow through Dylan White the way he's been blowing for everyone else. And he might do. But then again, maybe people are underestimating Dylan White. Maybe they're reading too much into the Brian Minto performance against a much shorter opponent. It's all about styles at the end of the day. And Jonathan Banks will be trying to formulate a game plan which will give Dylan White some type of chance of winning the fight. We'll see what happens. Drop your comments in the comment section below. I'll be very interested to hear and read what you guys have got to say. It's Hatman, I'm out.